What's good, y'all? Your boy Brandon back again. Another episode of the On Run Podcast, man. I'm solo hosting this week, man. My co-host is out of town, but I'm joined in the studio, man, by one of my boys, man. One of my homies, Baby Cali, a.k.a. Joe, and the homie Thought is Prime, a.k.a. Gabriel. What's, What's going on, guys? What's good with y'all, man? Appreciate y'all coming out, uh, coming on to the show. So, Gabe, I actually met you through Baby Cali indirectly, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it was last week when we were recording. Uh, I hopped on one of his lives. And I saw you on there telling a pretty, pretty powerful story, you know, uh, along with the homie all around Vegas, man. Shout out to him. Right on, right on. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring you in the studio just because I think it's such a compelling message. And I think it's something that a lot of people have to hear. So I was hoping you'd be able to bless my audience with kind of telling us that story and sharing some of the lessons you learned and um, some of the things you might be able to share that might benefit people. All right, great. So Thought is Prime, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel Thought is Prime, where your thoughts matter. Uh, so, um, so one of, the, one of the reasons why I started doing what I'm doing, um, as far as like any, anything, I first started with, uh, with YouTube, but, uh, before then is, it was because, um, I had a 16 year old, uh, son and his name was uh, Daniel and, um, and, um, every, every weekend or every other weekend he would come over and would do all kinds of things or whatever, you know, and, you know, he's my son, right? Obviously. So I watch him and, um. And we would go to the Seven Eleven, right? And then we'll, we'll uh, we would uh, purchase all kinds of stuff, goodies, whatever. And then we rack up points. Now back in the day, uh, pizzas were pizzas were like two thousand points and stuff like that. So every two thousand points, I would just, I would give him the card, you know, Seven Eleven card, and get himself a pizza. Like it's like a for him, it's like a little business card, like a little credit card, or whatever. So it worked out for him. But anyways, um, back in two thousand twenty, I don't know if you guys uh, remember um, COVID during COVID. Um, where everything was locked down, people were like uh, in quarantine, not able to go out or travel as much or whatever, and um, and so during that during that moment, that season, my son was going through stuff. He was going through some mental challenges at that moment, and uh, I'll try to get uh, stuff out of him, and I, it was kind of hard to get anything out of him. So um, it was at that moment. What, what were some of those things that you used to do at that time to try to get him out of that? So I would uh, try to talk to him, but he was he would close off. He would close off, and uh, so I wasn't able to talk to him. Um, and so, yeah. And anyways, to make a long story short, there's a lot that went. Uh, he ended up taking his life. He ended up taking his, uh, uh, unalivening himself. So to speak, you know, in better terms for uh, TikTok, whatever. He's so damn sensitive for everything. So damn sensitive. TikTok we know. Is sensitive as hell. We know. Uh, so, anyways, he unalived himself, and um, and as a father, as a parent, it's it was one of the hardest things for me. Like, I still struggle with it. The other day, I just broke down. It's just, it's, it's you. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. So this son. was in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay. So I lost him in June fourth, twenty twenty. Um, we're supposed to go camping at uh, on a Friday and. Or, anyways, I, I, my my idea was set up camp at a cooler place, which was Mount Charleston, and I was looking for him to go help me set up, you know, and I couldn't find him, and and I I ended up finding finding him in the garage, you know, with uh, something around his neck, lifeless. I thought he was playing or joking around. It wasn't. It was real, and um, the pure trauma of trying to revive my son, getting him off. Um, off the news and anyways and just trying to resuscitate and i remember everything every detail it's traumatizing the taste the um the taste of his mouth the i can go i don't want to get too much into detail but it was horrible so as a father to go and, and experience this horrible thing um i don't i didn't know what to do i was lost um uh, i was lost like really really lost and um but anyways, uh, as a father, I, I losing a son, like how, you know, why, my, why me? Why, why did my son go? What, you, you try to blame yourself in every way, shape, or form. Like, you know, what if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? And then, Do you have any other kids? I have another one. Yeah, he, has, uh, he has a brother. He's, he's 26 years old now. My youngest, he would be nine, 20. Yeah. Um, I lost him in uh, 2020. I said, like I said, he was 16 years old. Um, he would be, I'm gonna believe 20 now, if I'm, if I'm counting it right now. Uh, so anyways, the whole reason why I, um, 
I started uh, YouTube is is to try to. I felt an urgency. I felt an urgency to reach out to another child or reach out to another person to uh, to bring awareness of hey, you're not alone. Man. Hey, man, uh, there's not there's hope for you. Hey, there's a new phone number that's called it's nine eight eight. There's not this eight hundred because I used to have a eight hundred number before, mm -hmm. and no people they're not gonna remember that man. So. Uh, so the one good thing that that president did is sign into effect the 988 number and made it to where it's you know uh nationwide so nationwide to be able to call 988 this is why i i can't st stress enough guys if you're going through something a mental health issue whatever if you if you need someone to talk to somebody there's 988 you dial 988 they have i believe you can even text i believe i'm, I'm not too sure but Anyways, with my uh, starting off TikTok or not, but starting off YouTube, I wanted to name it after my son, my son's uh, Instagram handle. And his Instagram handle was Thotimus Prime, which being an old age guy, he don't, he don't know these terminologies. I didn't know the Do you know what it means now? I know what it means okay. now. Okay. And it's a bad word. And as a kid, 16 years old, you can only imagine. Um, let me take his glasses off. But uh, before we get there, though, go ahead. right? Um, leading up to that, right? Because obviously, I feel like after that happens, right? You don't only go over that moment so many times in your mind, but you replay the last month, the last three months, the last year, mm -hmm. right? Because you're trying to figure out like where that took that trajectory to end there, right? Mm -hmm. So, what are the things that you maybe thought about led up to that? Just for the people that are listening that might not know what signs to look for or, or, you know, how to help somebody, how to identify that somebody might be going through it. Because I think that's, that's something that's, that's something that's very, very, uh, you know, that gets kind of lost in translation because we never know. Right. That's a good question. I don't, I really believe like Robin Williams, happy guy, no freaking signs, no signs whatsoever, man. It's, it's, it really is. I'm gonna believe at that at that time it's up to the individual, and everybody's different. My son, there was hit the signs that I saw. It was him crying by himself, and crying by himself. And I try to talk to him. Try to he wouldn't open up. He wouldn't open up. Uh, but I mean, if, a good example like artists that have a life going for them. You know, you don't know what they're going through, and 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 just like him, he took himself out, and you know, and he was a, a comedian. He was he had it made, man, and so you only. God understand, you know, what he was going through. So, yeah, it's, I, I'm going to believe every, there's no real good sign to, to real, you know, to know that you're going through something deep and only that person itself. So all you can do is try to reach out to somebody. But, it, you know, in this case right now, one of the things I try to do, like I said, I was, I, I, the reason why I started uh, YouTube was to start, a, thought, I changed thought is prime to thought is prime. That's where that my name comes from. It's from Thotimus Prime, which was his Instagram handle, to Thought is Prime, which makes sense because Thought is Prime. Thought is important. So where your thoughts matter, which is where my you know sign is. So this is Thought is Prime, where your thoughts matter, and people's thoughts matter, and my son's thoughts matter, and everybody's thoughts. So this is where that came from. So you said something. You said something, and on the on my life. And by the way, man, it was an honor to actually have you on my life, man. It means a lot to me that you were able to come out. And I respect you more as a man coming out of my life. And even if you would have just came in private to me, you know. But just, it was an honor for me to, be, for you to share that with me. Because um, it can't be easy. Yeah. I got three kids myself. Yeah. But you said something. Tomorrow is something. Yeah. What I is said it? tomorrow, uh, tomorrow needs you. Tomorrow needs you. Tomorrow needs you guys. I'm, I, I, need that. That. I, was, I couldn't yeah. remember what it was. Yeah. Literally driving me crazy yeah. for a week. And so uh, we, we, I've done another podcast with another gentleman that hit, hurt his daughter. Same thing, same, same route. And again, as a parent, you, try, you, know, you're, you feel obligated to try to save one person. So what he did was paint his whole truck for people that has lost their life, uh, has, you know, unalived themselves. Um, he, with every name and, and, and what caught my attention, I was actually doing an Uber drive. 
Mm -hmm. day. I was doing an Uber. I was driving. I was about to pick somebody up. And I see this truck rolling up right next to me. This truck has names of different kids, different people. I'm like, and I'm staring at this truck. And I'm like, I see a 988. That's what stuck up to me. 988. Oh, shoot. Okay. There's got to be a meaning behind these names. And I'm mm -hmm. trying to get his, his attention. And there's, I'm, I'm at a red light, about, about to turn green. I'm honking the horn. He finally turns around. I, I'm waving like an idiot. Like, hey, what's up? He, he rolls down his window. Hey, man, what's up with this? What's, where's the 988? He yells out, hey, man, my, my daughter, you know, underlapped himself. Uh, and this, bro, give me your number right now. And, and, and because as a father and him being a father, he's doing it his, his way. He was doing it through a podcast to try to talk and, and you know, to, to make the stigma. Because it's a stigma you know, of um, going through mental health. And we push it aside. We keep, like, even my videos that, I, that I'm, I'm just right now recently throwing up. If you guys go to my channel, you can see those videos I put. There's not a lot of views to it. There's a stigma. Like, people don't want to, they want to keep brushing it aside, brushing it aside. But it's real. It is real. And, and so my hopes, my hopes is... Because I understand nobody wants to talk about that stuff. It's not easy to talk about that stuff. So how do you present? How do you talk about 980? How do you talk to someone to let them know, to make them aware? What I did, I made it entertaining. I would go and ask questionnaires. Hey, man, if you answer this question, I would give you 20 bucks or whatever. And that's what I would start doing. And so I started this thing. If you, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, if you guys go to the channel, go to Thought is Prime, you can see like the very first you know, videos, like not because I niche down to cosplayers uh, and cosplayers, they what they do is they dress up. But there's an opportunity for me to talk to a lot of young kids that like to dress up. And so that's why I started niching to cosplay. But I wanted to keep entertain entertainment through and then through that entertainment, push a little seed of hope, push that little seed of, of awareness that, hey. There's 988. If you're going through something, man, 988. So that's what. And I think, I think it definitely is something that might not, people might not be scared to talk about it, but it's just very uncomfortable for people to talk about, especially so for men. I feel like because you're looked at as weak, you're looked at as, for lack of a better word, you look like as, as a bitch, right? But a lot of people don't know that, right, behind some of the strongest people, right, you don't know what the kind of battles they face, right? And we're all human at the end of the day. Like, we all suffer, right? We all have trauma. We all have shit that we deal with that we might hide inside behind alcohol, behind drugs, behind, you know, whatever it is, behind, even behind being funny, right? Like you said, Robin Williams was a funny guy, but we don't know what he was going, yeah. you know, what was going on behind his mind because at the end of the day, like, he was going through it, which is why his life ended that way. So um, in what ways would it be easier? In what ways could we make it easier for men to feel more open to be able to talk about these things? To, for men to make it easier, the, the machismo. The machista where you can't really want to, you're like, you, you're not, you're supposed to man up and not talk about it. You're supposed to be a man and not cry. You're supposed to be all this, this all, all this rules and regulations of what a man should be. Bro, I'm 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 so in tune. I'm in so in tune with my emotions. Some of you guys probably see me cry on my live because I'm going through something. But I've been real with myself. But um, there's no real good answer to that man. I wouldn't even know how to answer that man. I I don't. Know. You don't know. How would you? What would you? What would you? What do you think? Do you? It's it's hard because coming from where I came from, I got told you I'm a young man. Life. Mm -hmm. I try to do it to myself. Yeah. You know, this is not about me right now, but man, it's a, it's weakness, and feeling weak, man, is it's scary. Um, it's the demons within ourselves that we fight. And let me let me restart the live, uh, real quick. Somebody was asking me to restart the live. I'm gonna take uh, two okay. two seconds. Okay. So obviously, Joe, right? We've had a lot of conversations, and I don't want to get derail the conversation too much. But you were talking about weakness right and i think that's a very important thing to talk about because coming from certain environments right it's almost a liability to be seen as weak you're going to get picked on you're going to get put in the corner people are going to treat you a certain way right so you almost can't show no weakness right whether that be being from a rough neighborhood being incarcerated being like in highly competitive environments maybe sports even you know if you if you're weak man people are going to people are going right. to smell that out and they're going to pick on you so how can we kind of end that stigma of, you know, 
being able to be strong and being able to be a leader, being able to be a, a man, right? But also being able to say like, hey, bro, like I'm really going through something right now. So I have to like put my pride aside and maybe be able to talk to my brothers, you know? Yeah, no. Nah. See, so he, that's the thing, man. Uh, sometimes I guess, you know, yeah, you don't want to, you know, come out as a, as you say, a little bitch, right? Whatever, for lack of better terminology or weak. Um, this is why there's at least tools. So at least, you know, I guess, I guess if you feel comfortable not talking to someone, at least there's an option to be able to call 988 which is why probably I'm sure one of the reasons why it's there instead of, you know, you know sometimes, sometimes you don't want to reach out. Sometimes you don't want to talk to someone, you know, sometimes you don't feel like, you know, when you, not only that, when I'm sure when you've gone through something, when you want to do it to yourself, you don't even think you don't even no. think like, you don't think, damn, I have kids. I have this responsibilities. Like, nah, you're in a state of pain. You're in a state of like, Yeah. So it's really hard to really determine how, we can reach to someone or how, you know, uh, we can talk to someone or, or how that person is going through to reach someone that to help. So at least we, all I can do, or as we, as, a, as a creator, I can do is, Hey, there's a little seed in behind it. By the way, if you're going through something, I remember there's nine, eight, eight, if you ever going through something. So at least hopefully that, that little seed is implanted in that head and that mind. So if they ever, ever need to talk to someone, and they can't talk to anybody else. They might, they might have a phone right there. They can dial 988. So that's one of the things. But as far as, I don't know, that's, that's a tough one. You know, there's no, like no. I said, there's no real good answer for that one except, yeah. Now, I know it was hard for you um, considering it was your son, yeah. you know. Now, real get personal, did you ever, did it cross your mind at any point in time? Because it's got to be hard for I couldn't imagine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you did, what helped you come out of there? Because being, I, being religious for me was one of the things because I was taught that if you unalive yourself, you're going straight to a place that of uh, eternal, whatever. And that's at least one thing that crossed my mind and kept me at least somewhat uh, aware that, hey, you know, don't do that, you know? Which at the same time sucks because like, damn, is my son there? Because he did something like, this is where like, damn, you know, all you, all I can do is leave it in the hands of, of my higher power and hope that he's in a better place. And because he's the only one that knows what he's going through, what he was going through. And, and that he's the only merciful one that can give that opportunity. So, but yeah, that's one thing for me. Yeah, it crossed my mind. Yeah, I, sometimes I don't want to, yeah, even this last relationship that I had, I wanted to, to to do something dumb like that and not go on because you're hurting. You're in so much pain. All you want is the pain to end. That's all you want, right? That's all you want at the moment. Yeah, I want this pain to end right now. And, there, and you go through friends and there's nothing. You go to the bottle. You go to, a, to, to, to smoke. You go to do all kinds of stuff. And at the end of the day, dude, I just want this pain to stop. And what's the next best thing that they think about is, hey, if I do this, then I, I'm good. But that's not the answer. Well, that's, I think, a very good question because we always look at, right, the person who, who, who left, right, what they were going through. But the people that they leave behind, you know, they also feel it, right? Especially, like you said, you're a father, man. It yeah. cannot be easy, mm -hmm. you know, having your son go through that. I'm sure his mom, his brother, right, everybody, you know, it, it leaves a scar that unfortunately... It'll never go away, you know. You might be get you might get better at, at coping with it. You might be getter. Be, you might get better at living with it, mm -hmm. but it will always sort of be there. So, what helped you feel better? But I, obviously, you do the content. So, but like just so, personally, so real quick, I want to go back into uh, to that what I was mentioning, sure because I was married at one point. I was married for eight years, and when I when I got divorced, when or when she left me, when my wife left me. I was devastated. As a matter of fact, my son remembers I was getting in front of the buses and the bus stopped and they ended up taking me away. But at that moment, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking, dude, you know, you have your, 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 your family, you have your, you have your kids. It wasn't until like a, when I was locked up in this place where whatever, it's crazy, and this, whatever, I was locked up for a little bit. Um, it wasn't like, damn, what the hell am I doing here? It was like to the next day, the next day, dude, what the hell am I doing here? Nah, nah. 
I need, I have, I have my kids, man. And, and I, and I finally snapped up. But at that moment, man, when you're at that moment, you don't think, right? You think, oh, I have all this when you were about, no, when that, you don't think. No. And so, this, so this is where we have to, I hope, dude, I don't know if you, if you see someone down, if you see someone sad, you know, go we'll talk to them, man. Go, okay, shoot. Hey man, let's go, let's go have a drink or something. Let's go out. Let's go, let's go talk, man. Let's go, you know shoot some pool or something you know I, that's one of my one of my recommendations and it's going back to your question what were you saying i was just asking right obviously your son after that happened it can't be easy and like you said you thought about doing it yourself mm. and those are the types of things you know that they kind of stay forever so it almost feels like there's just so much noise right there's just so much noise that you can't like you can't shut it off it's just always in your head right and, and just like being in a noisy environment right eventually you kind of get numb to it and it, you start noticing it because it's always there. But how did you sort of move away from that? Obviously, you have the content. Obviously, um, you're doing uh, much better now. But mm -hmm. what are the things that kind of you told yourself or that you did that helped you get out of that spot? Okay, this latest, this, this last time right now, what got me out of, this, out of the spot is I had one of my moderators I would talk to, which, you know, was uh, when I just talking to people, talking to a friend, you know, a Hey, you know, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. And, uh, talking to someone, talk to your best friend, talk to someone, man, go reach out to someone. Don't keep it inside. Don't keep it inside. Go reach to someone, talk to someone because once you talk and then you, you're able to release some of that. Another thing that helped me out is going, going to a group. And, and once they go to this, I went, I ended up going to this 12, 12 step group back in December, 4th of December, which is what I'm, I've been doing. And I missed out today because I, you know, I'm coming here live to talk to someone about it. So, um, through this group, I ended up finding God again. And that's one thing that's helped me to push forward. Not only that, but work on my life, work on everything to change my, to better myself and all around going to the gym. That's another thing, guys. If you, if you're going down, going to hit, hit in the gym, not only do you feel better about yourself, you, you lose a little bit of weight, you start feeling them, you get the endorphins going. So that's what, another route that you guys can take. So going to the gym, talking to someone and just plugging in somewhere. So do that guys. Remember nine, eight, eight tomorrow needs you guys tomorrow needs you. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a very underrated thing. Something that I think I would recommend myself personally is just, you kind of have to set goals for yourself and you have to start checking them off one by one, but also just loneliness, man. The loneliness will fucking eat you away. If you don't get rid of it, man, sitting by yourself, your brain is just going to go there automatically and it's hard, you know, just you just keep thinking about it and thinking about it. And you don't see a way out. And it's not until you talk to someone. It might be something as simple as watching a football game or going out to eat, having a regular conversation, playing video games, doing whatever. Right. Just something to distract your mind and, and you know, give you a little bit of peace and then setting goals like personally, like you. I think the content, whether you notice it or not. Right. Building content, being creative. Um, inspiring people, seeing the numbers grow little by little, seeing yourself get better at making content. Now you know how to get better angles. You have better edits. You have these these things. People might have even reached out to you and been like, hey, man, this is helping me so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All these things, right? Seeing that you bring value and that you can grow value and, and being here day by day, you get a little bit better. I think that's something that's healing, right? Especially to men, right? Because we feel like we have to provide something. We, we, we're we treated as if we don't have any inherent value, right? A woman, right? If you see a woman getting attacked, any dude is going to jump in front of to protect yeah, her. You know, if you see a man on the street getting attacked, exactly. you'd be like, I'm not going over there. Yeah. Right? You're a man. Deal that's with it yourself. Standard, yeah. Exactly. Standard, so, yeah. so for us, like having goals and, and and growing and checking those goals off i think that's something that's you know very very powerful mm. yeah very true, true um so one of the reasons why i um i started creating content is to like i said it not only has been helping me um uh helping me to uh to a hobby to helping me to even walking out with you guys you going doing lives in vegas with you guys that's been so therapeutic for me so that's one of the reasons. So that has been helping me personally in itself, curating content, you know, uh, to hopefully bring something good with. So my goal, my all time goal is as I grow with you guys in TikTok or, or YouTube or whatever it is, is to find, to use that to help people, to use that to reach out to someone. Like I said, my content is, is entertaining, 
But at the same time, I want to have that little seed of knowledge, of awareness. Hey, man, there's there's always someone there to, to help you, 988 or someone that can talk. To. If you guys are going through something, reach out to me, man. I'll, you know, I'll talk to you. Um, but um, have, you ever, um, have you ever gone to the mental, I don't know where it's at here, the, the psych ward, the mental institution. Have you ever gone and asked to speak? You know, because like I was telling, I was telling somebody, I want to go speak to the children because mm. of when I my childhood yeah. that I grew up in, the lifestyle I lived. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to get kids out of gangs, drugs. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to do. Okay. But you got a mental man. You ever go and you know think about just even going to talk to them? Because a lot of them is it was your son, so it was kids. Yeah. And there's a lot of kids that they go through that. Yeah. You know, more often than not. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons why I started my YouTube because okay. YouTube, YouTube, uh, kids love dressing up. They love dressing up for Halloween. They love dressing up for manga with manga, anime, all these things. They love being characters at the same time. It's like they're hiding from something. A lot of times I think that's what's going on as well. They're hiding, they're hiding behind this mask. You know, and maybe they feel secure and protected. So those, that's why I reached out. That's why I niched down to cosplayers. So my channel went from being on the streets, talking to people, doing money giveaways to cosplay because the kids love it. And at the end of each video, it'll say, hey, if you're going through something, 988, 988. I haven't been doing to my last, last ones because um, I wanted to grow a little bit more. Because like I said, people don't, the stigma of going to talking about that kind of stuff. Nobody wants to talk about it. It, it No, it's sad. It's depressing. Literally, yes. it really is. Yes. So how can we make something of worse? So that's my goal. As a creator with my gift that God has given me and a love, a passion of making videos. All right, let's bring entertaining. All right, there's little, little, little giveaways. All right, by the way, now that you won that money, did you know? What the suicide, what the, the hotline is? And he's like, no, I don't. It's 988. Okay, cool. And if I keep leave that little seed, this is why. Then, and if I can save one soul, one person, then I've done my job. This is where thought is prime came from because your thought matters. But, you know, they got the, um, and I talked to this lady earlier today. You, they got them digital business cards. Mm-hmm. Um, when you talk to people, man, the digital business card, it automatically saves their, your information in their phone, right? You could put on there whatever you want. Well, you never thought of just putting 988 on there, put Thought is Prime, put your, your social media, mm-hmm. and then the phone number 988. Mm-hmm. So if they ever do need to talk to somebody, they know Thought is Prime right there. I, and 988, you know, because all they do is tap it. Yeah. Like all you got to do is technology something. It's like, world it's, like t- it's like tap to pay. Yeah, it's just tap to pay now. You just tap the thing, and it's got all. Oh, it's just a business card. Yeah. So, and it automatically saves it onto their phone. All you gotta do is put accept. Um, now it's saved on their phone. Mm. And what is the number one thing we hold in our hands ninety percent of the time? Phone. Oh, our time our phones don't ever leave yeah. our hands, especially if we come, anything we're doing. So, that's just an, an, another idea that I that um that I just thought of as we're sitting here talking. Um, a way just reach somebody because um, there's a lot of people out there that hurt and a lot of people smile and laugh and deep down they're just messed up in the head yeah because just like Robert Williams he's he's a character he was a character making people laugh and around and, and being goofy himself but not knowing exactly what they're going through you know yes that's, and they're hiding behind a mask they're hiding behind some uh, some facade Right. So and I think it's a it's a it's a big balance. I think doing anything right when you're trying to do good for some reason, people just don't really, you know, they don't vibe with it. So it's a balance between having a large enough audience where you might be able to reach more people, but also keeping it, you know, engaging enough in that topic so that the people that are there, you know, are, are there for the for the reasons that you want them yeah. to be. Yeah. If you guys have any questions as well, if you guys are on a live right now, if you guys have any questions about it, then uh, go ahead and feel free to uh, uh, to ask. And uh, me or Baby Khaled should be able to see it here in a second. We'll probably have him better because I don't have my glasses. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm paying attention, guys. Yeah. You guys got it, man. Go ahead. I've already put it on the chat a couple of times. Go ahead and set, uh, write a comment. Uh, any comments? Uh, I, we appreciate all the, uh, the nice remarks you guys are putting on there, man. But uh, if you guys have any questions to any one of us, 
do feel free to ask us, man. If you got any questions about mental health, please. That's what this is all about, guys. Yes. Um, it hurts because I don't know if everybody can relate, but me personally, I think the only reason I'm alive now is because of my kids. And to lose one of my kids, man, um, I think I would have lost my mind. Yeah, you, you very much can. And for you guys that are just coming in, like I, I'm telling people, you know, I'm telling you guys why I started Thought is Prime because your thoughts matter because I, I named it after my son's handle. My son unalabbed himself back in uh, uh, June 4th of 2020. So those of you who are joining us in, that's what's going on. Um, and I'm trying to bring awareness through entertainment, entertainment, right? Uh, that's mostly on my YouTube, but I kind of niched uh, away. And when TikTok, I haven't been doing that on TikTok. But I want to go back to my roots. And and as I'm growing, just being able to reach someone. Hey, man, if you want to talk, you know, come talk about it. If you're feeling a certain way, man, there's if you if you feel like you can't talk to somebody, you're by yourself. You can always dial 988, man, and reach out to someone and, and talk because it's hard. It's hard. I've been there where I wanted to, you know, you know, check out. And it's real. It's real. A lot of us were there. I'm sure how many people are around, you guys are watching. We're already at that state where like, dude, I, I can't do this no more. I can't do this no more. What do I do? And at least there's an option there to call or dial 980. So I wanted to touch on something as well. Something that kind of went unnoticed during the pandemic. Obviously, people's businesses were affected. Joe, I know you were a business owner, man. So it was devastating, man. The pandemic, everything's just shutting down, right? financially it was hard on people but mentally as well you know all the kids who you know maybe their outlet was going to school and, and being in class and learning something they cared about or their outlet was just being around other kids playing sports uh after school activities things like that do you feel like in any way the pandemic and how isolated everything was do you feel like that had a big effect on your son it had a, it had a huge effect like i said well um i didn't really i haven't talked i'm just now guys know this i am just now talking about this it's been really hard I've, I've always been saving it here saving it here it's been really hard as a father like he said you would go crazy as a parent you would go crazy losing someone losing your child you should never bury your your child never never so this is why i have a passion this is what i, I i'm trying to grow i'm trying to reach and work with other creatives to to just bring awareness if we can save one life through your guys' help, through something, through I'm gonna create. Uh, I'm thinking of doing sh t-shirts, and 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 bringing out the 988, but making some nice logos and stuff like that, and really really cool gear that can actually people wouldn't would, would mind wearing. Uh, I'm starting. I'm thinking of that an idea, some ideas like that. We know? have a question, brother. Go ahead. What's the question? It's uh, Vanessa Marie. Hey, Vanessa. What's going on, Vanessa? No kangaroos on this conversation, please. <laughs> um. She said she lost her son four years ago. How do you learn to accept it? Been hard on her. Wow. It, look, it's wow. tough. Like I said, I'm just now talking about it. This is in 2020. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really difficult. Um, I, would, I would honestly suggest starting to talk about it. Because once you start talking about it, you, you're going to eventually start releasing it, releasing it. And, and because I've been hiding it back here where I don't even want to look at, at my son's pictures. Okay, guys, that's how bad it is. So it's hard. It's difficult. Every, every parent, like I said, shouldn't pair, you shouldn't be bearing your kids. You shouldn't be bearing your kids at all. Um, it's very difficult. So I, I hope that you, like, like me talking about my son, I hope uh, you start talking about it to someone, to your to family member or something, start opening up. And I think that's going to be the best, the best thing to do. Now, did you, uh, did you personally, before this, were you able to talk to family members about your friend or anybody, friends? I know you said you were in a relationship, like, or even your partner is in a relationship that or were you were you doing the exact same characteristics as your son was doing before he? Um, after the when I when I had a relationship, like just recently. Yeah. Um. So when I when 
some people know, <laughs> some of you guys know that I was in a relationship. You guys that follow and um, that relationship ended and it was really hard for me uh, because I, uh, I, when you put someone so up here in a pedestal and you lose yourself and you are not happy with yourself, when you're not happy with yourself and you have someone make you happy because you're excited and you put someone way up here, then when you end up losing that person or that, that thing, then you lose yourself because you gave all your power, all your energy, when in reality, you should learn to love yourself first. Learn to love yourself first. And this one thing that I've been learning through groups and through counseling is, uh, you know, if you ever have an, a, a, a significant other, um, yeah, you want to give them everything because you love them, you this and this and that, but you're, you're losing yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. Uh, you stop doing things like going to the gym and doing these things that you, sh you should be doing. I, I, I just have a question real yeah, quick, man. Why do you, every time you say going to the gym, you look at me? I'm not, I'm not even. Just because I'm the only one that don't go to the gym? No, 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 it just happened, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, dude, and that's one thing that, that, that I learned. I'm not, I'm not saying it to say, I really am not. I'm not trying to preach on that. I promise you I'm not, because it's very true. Um, you, when you, if you learn to love yourself, okay, I'm going to tell you a story. Like, um, you know how you say, uh, quiero conocer mi media naranja. I want to, uh, how would you say that in English? I want to meet my soulmate. My other half. No, my other half. My other I want to yeah, meet thing. my other half, right? I want to yeah. meet, I want to finally meet my other half. And, 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 and you, cause I'm, you know, and that's, that's the, that's the mentality that we have. We, I want to meet my other half. No, you should meet your other full. You should be full. You shouldn't be half. You should be full to find another full person. Okay. You know, because if you're not full, if you have that other person complete you, what's going to happen when you lose that other person? Exactly. You're, you're going to go down. You're going to be devastated and not know what to do. This is why exactly. you first learn to be whole by yourself. Learn to date yourself. Learn to go to the movies by yourself. Learn to go to the to 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 the gym by yourself. You don't need anybody. You if you can make yourself happy, so that so that once you're full, once you're complete, and somebody comes into your life, you don't need that person. It's just an addition. If the, you say you know what I'm gonna go to the gym, I right, whatever, cool, whatever. Or 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 she says you know what I'm gonna go with my friends, cool, fine, you know, good, whatever, do your thing. So if she ever breaks, you know what, babe, uh, you're too you're too. <laughs> You're too fat or you too whatever. I'm breaking up with you. Good. Peace. Was that what happened? <clears throat> I, I was getting a little weight. I was like, I started to lose myself. I, I finally gave, you know, lost a little weight. But anyways, I'm not sure if that's what the whole reason. But yeah. Anyways, the whole point of the story, the whole point of the story, guys, we, we, we don't put all your, don't put all your marbles, don't put all your power into someone because that, because that person can de definitely, if that person can take, you know, make you unhappy. In other words, you shouldn't have someone to make you happy, dude. The only person that should that you should have in your life to make you happy is God. That is it. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. I'm not trying to preach to anybody, but that's the only person that you should put be put, putting first. I so, agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, another important thing, right? As fathers, right, Joe, you're a father. You're a father. Um, and obviously, um, one of your sons is no longer with us, unfortunately. But what kind of legacy? Do you want to leave? I guess, Joe, the question for you would be, what kind of legacy do you want to leave for your kids? And it's almost a two-part for you, Gabe. What kind of legacy do you want to leave for your son? But also, what do you want to do in your other son's honor? Um, me? Well, you know it. So from the day as we met, I told you. The day I leave this earth, I want to leave my kids well off to where my kids are all have a business in their name. I want to leave them, I don't want to leave them a job. I want to leave them employees. I want to leave them a business, stable, you know, to where my grandkids are going to be okay. You know, their kids, and they could be able to build their family from there and grow, you know. I don't want my kids at one point in time in my life, do I want my kids to ever Go through what I've went through in my life, ever, ever. Um, People talking about being gaslighted and all that here. I was reading some of the comments here, guys. 
Yeah, dude, this is what I, this is my, going back to the same thing that I was talking about is, uh, focus on your guys, focus on you. you go, go do your nails, ladies. Go, go focus on yourself. Don't, don't tell don't, them that because they're going to, no, they're no, going to, they're going to cash up, they're no, going to cash up right now. Don't, uh, don't depend on a man to make you happy. And that's unfortunate. And it's one, th- I had to learn it the hard way. You can't make, you can't, you, you can't have that other person make you happy. You have to learn to love yourself. Um, and learn, learn to cut ties, learn to cut it. You know, it, that's the hardest thing. That's one of, dude, I, that was the hardest thing for me is to let go. But once you let go, it becomes easy because why would you want to hold on? Why would you want to hug on a, a cactus? Think about that. If, you know, if this person is hurting you, why would you be there? Like, oh, I don't want it to go. It's, it, 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 all these, the cactus is just hurting you. Let it go. It's hard. But it's a lot more easier once you let it go. And then that's what we, now you start focusing on taking those little thorns out. Focusing it one by one and one. Love yourself first. Guys, love yourself first. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I yeah, the question I asked was just, yeah, what kind of legacy do you want to leave uh, your legacy. kids? Yeah. Okay, for me, the legacy that I want to leave my kids, man, is um, honesty. Thank God that through this program, I'm I'm finally focusing on myself. And uh, ladies, my my house is a lot clean now. My bathroom is a lot clean now, because uh, you know if I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna be better all the way through. I'm gonna be a better person, this and that. So my legacy is as I'm getting better, and I'm slowly am. You know, uh, going to the gym, eating better. So everything is getting better because I'm focusing on myself. I'm finally learning to love myself, right? Once I learn to love myself, then I'm hoping to study some other stuff where I can make money and do other things or, or even use this platform to grow and have other doors open for me where I can prosper. So one of the legacies is that I would love to leave is, hey, I did something for mental health because my son is no longer here. You, you know, he, he checked out. But my legacy is, hey, I did something. Maybe I saved a life. That's the legacy. Hey, you know what? Look, my dad did something. He made my dad, you know, he made a channel in, in loving memory of my brother and loving and or you know, and so that's one of the legacies I want to leave behind. But yeah, dad got himself straight. He got his life a lot better. He got his life together, and he used you know uh, social media to to save a life or or, or or to reach out to someone or or you know or do something. No. Yeah, you got your other son, right? He's the oldest. Yeah, I have my oldest now. He's twenty six. Um, what's your relation with him now? It's not. It's not as good. But see, this is what another thing as well is as I'm working to better myself. Now I have to focus on bettering my uh, those relationships and establish and reestablishing better relationships with them. Um, and so, like I said, I'm through this twelve st- twelve step programs that I'm that I'm learning is just to better myself so slowly been reaching i was supposed to go out with him and he likes pew pewing he likes to go pew pewing and so like I wanted, okay. I wanted to go and do that with him you know sorry tiktok's really sensitive i don't want to talk about stupid shit. <laughs> but yeah pew pew <laughs> he yeah. likes that he likes that so um just go out and, and, and start spending time with him so that's uh, at least hope i'm hoping to uh, establish a better relationship with him and um you said you've been doing the program since December. Since December fourth. Fourth. Yeah. That was last year. This so year. it's a month. A month and uh, yeah. Um, month and a half, whatever. Yeah, something like that. Now, he mentioned something earlier. Uh, on the run steps, Brandon says something about uh, a lot of us hide our, our pain behind alcohol. And it touched a nerve with me because I do try to hide sometimes. When I get mad, I just drink. I just leave it alone. Mm-hmm. And was that was that any substance or anything that you were doing to try to cover up the pain you were going through? My substance was females. <laughs> no, yeah, that's yeah. that. Yeah, it's, that's it's another thing. Advice. Yeah, absolutely. Still yeah, yeah. yeah. like long. Yeah, I yeah. was gonna say I didn't. I don't think I said it, but yeah, I was gonna say yeah. alcohol, drugs, or women. Obviously, yeah. yeah. My substance was females, and um, and. When you do that, not only do you hurt that other those you know females, you could be, you're hurting yourself at the same time. Um, you're just losing yourself. There's no real anything, and so like that's one of the things that I have, I'm learning through these these programs is uh, uh, no, that's not the way to go. 
Um, but no, thank God I, I didn't go into, you know, any of these substances and stuff like that, too, which a lot of people do. Yeah, so, But yeah, females was more. For sure. And Joe, I wanted to ask you, because obviously your sons are little, right? Yeah. How old are your sons? 11. My son will be nine, 9 in March. My daughter, she's seven, going so, on 42. So 11 and 9, your sons, um, they're still little. So they're still impressionable. They're still kind of learning who they are. Their personality is still developing. Obviously, coming from where you come from and hearing stories like this, it must be very difficult to understand how you can raise a son that's going to be strong without sort of giving him all the negative things you grew up with while at the same time having him be able to come to you or his friends or his brother or anybody to to be able to open up about these kinds of things so does that ever cross your mind like what do you think about that um yes and if you ever see any of my videos with my kids um mostly if you're on my facebook they'll be the only place you guys will ever see it um those where I, I play with my kids, but I talk to my kids like adults. Um, since my daughter, I, I don't know if I ever told you guys, my uh, the manners that I I, I I I put my kids in, I make sure they have manners. Um, if adults are here, you're over there, baby. You're not over here. Um, somebody says, some you ask somebody for something, tell them thank you. May I? Can I? You ask permission. You don't just give me this. I don't. I never did this. Excuse me, always. So I always, always did that to my kids, to all of my kids. They all know. They all know. So it's um for me it's a uh, it's a friendship slash. They know I'm still their dad, but I still I keep a friendship with them, and that they know don't do this. Like I said, my kids went used to come visit me in prison. So my daughter learned how to walk in prison. So I try to keep it to where my, uh, where they know a little bit, but not everything. And um, don't, I don't want them ever to go there. You know, I did what I did, but that's beyond. So I left that life alone. And... In a way, I'm grateful that they're in Arizona now. In a way, I'm not. But as long as I know my kids are okay, I'm happy. My kids don't need nothing. I'm happy. And I have an inner peace. Where growing up and where I lived and my kids living out there, like my first baby mama, I don't know where about her. My son there because she don't even be around nothing. No, so my other kids, yeah, I know my kids. My kids are smart enough to be able to tell me anything. I make sure they I, they told me everything. My daughter, hey, I dad, this. My, how many times you went to the bathroom? I'm mean, everything. I want to know everything, you know. But I guess it's more of a friendship, and we still keep that. And I'm gonna do it till till I'm not breathing no more, you know. Yeah. If you had five minutes to spend with your son, mm-hmm. what would you talk about and what would you say to him? Um, it's just, that's like a million things can, that you could want to do, honestly, in five minutes. Um, first of all, obviously, is to hug him and let him know that I love him. And, um, uh, that's all. That's it. You believe in mediums and stuff like that? No. I, I do, but it's more, you know, I have my own belief in it. Okay. It's kind of like negative stuff that I personally believe. Okay. What role, obviously you spoke about religion, right? I see the, the cross on your neck, mm-hmm. it's almost as big as the real one, I guess. But what role did religion play in all this? How religious were you before and how religious are you now after? That's a good question because, you know, when obviously when, when this happens and, you know, you want to blame God for it and you're hurt and you want to run away from that. And uh, so it was really difficult. I'm just now 
thank God through this pain that I've been going through, this breakup brought me back to him. And I'm glad because now, uh, not only that, but I'm also talking about my son. And I'm going back to the roots. And at the same time, I'm, I'm healing from that because I need to heal. I've been pushing my, my son to the back burner, back burner. And through talk, and it's been very th therapeutic. Doing this right now is very th therapeutic for me, you know, releasing that and giving that pain less power. That's awesome. I guess the next year, the next three years, the next five years, you talked about evolving your content. Um, you talked about, um, Joe said, maybe going to speak to, whether it's asylum, schools, you talked about uh, making merch. Um, obviously the messages you're trying to spread on your videos, but on a human level, right on a personal level, mm -hmm. what goals or milestones are you setting for yourself for the next year, for the next three years, for the next five years, and so on? As milestones, what kind of like as like, a personal level? Personal level, yeah, for you personally. What do you mean? Like, like mean? yeah, like what do you want to accomplish? Is there you know a, a mindset that you want to be? Whether it be a goal at the gym or um, f something financial, like, educational, yeah, like it's financial right now really financial um because you know the focus on myself has been making me more responsible and like refocusing my energy on me like i said um dude yeah you gotta get your you gotta get shit right you know if you don't make money in a you know you're not gonna get anywhere you know you, obviously it, it takes money and finances to get things done or to buy a house or to buy things so um uh, i've been talking about maybe going into um uh, uh either doing loans or uh, uh, what is that? The uh, mar selling houses. What is that called? Uh, real estate. Real estate, real estate kind of stuff. So, uh, getting my real estate license, stuff like that. So that's one of my first goals right now. And you know, I wrote actually, I I wrote it down yesterday. And uh, so, you know, I, I got to talk to someone yesterday about it. And so, cool. All right, now I have uh, a goal. And so now I have to start practicing. I think that's great, and I think real estate would do well, given uh, your social media popularity. You're good at talking to people. Obviously, you have something about you that I think people would trust you. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, real estate, I think yeah, you'd, you'd set your own schedule. You know, you'd almost work on your own time. So yeah, I think it'd be a, a pretty good uh, endeavor to take on. never thought about that. Yeah, that might, that might work out, you know, being a social media. Oh, I know him. Like, well, he's he's going to sell hey, me a house. <laughs> mar marketing is half the That's battle crazy. for real estate. Yeah. Marketing is half the battle for everything. For anything, yeah, but yeah. real estate especially, right? Because, yeah. you know, people, yeah. you know, they're looking for a house. They're like, who should we call? If they yeah. see you everywhere, like, oh, that guy's a real estate agent, you know? And he speaks Spanish, too. So exactly. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, us three, right, we're all content creators. Khaled does the, the Uber karaoke. If you guys haven't followed Baby Khaled on TikTok, man, follow him. Um, you do live streams, you do videos about Vegas, mm -hmm. about mental health. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have a podcast, and we also like to dabble in and out. Um, things like vlogs or, or different types of videos. Is there any way that you see all three of us collabing on some kind of project to, to sort yeah, of, of work on your mission? And if so, what would that be? So, um, uh, you have the podcast gift, right? You have the, this is your your this is your your gift. So that's one step. So reaching out to other people, other other collabs that are possible, like, you know, Khaled or uh, Vegas Policy or someone huge like that as well. Uh, my boy uh, All Around Vegas and, and other creators, creators that might be interested in, in, in coming together. And that's that's the step, though, is what do we talk about? now? Like, what, what, what happens now that we're together? What are we going to talk about? You know, a, about people about Vegas. Okay, how do we direct Vegas stuff to... And that's what I need to figure out first. <clears throat> How we can use it because otherwise it's gonna be a mess. Like no, nobody, no, no direction. Well, so. you do lives. Yeah. Um, going back to where I started with going to one of the the mental health the for us uh, building, bringing awareness, doing the fundraiser. Um, you have a following. Um, doing a fundraiser just to draw attention to fun to uh to uh mental health of uh, we set up a, a, a 1k run or where anything yeah and just reaching out to them see how you can help them because even not just you as personally but all of us I, I'm, I'm willing to go with you mm -hmm. we'll go 
Tell them, hey, you know what? You have us through service all day. You want us to clean toilets? We'll clean toilets. Let's go, you know, because those people are dealing with people that are not mentally healthy. They, 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 that are not mentally healthy. So we can put in our effort as well to help the people that are helping them because I'm not, I'm not nowhere near certified, certified to help anybody that's in mental health. Yeah. Don't believe <laughs> that. Just, I have but, to help myself first to help someone else. So, but at least we have the right idea. So, all right. like just going. Well, I think sharing sharing your story is half the battle, you know, because people are not willing to do that. Yeah. So, if I could throw out a few ideas, uh, just off the yeah. top of my head, um, there's a comedian I really like. He's super good. His name is Ali Sadiq, um, but he recorded a comedy special in a prison because he was incarcerated for a long time, um, and he recorded a comedy special in a prison. I don't know anybody has done that before, or at least not to that level. Right, right. So. Crazy. I think uh, giving talks at places like you said, whether it's uh, somewhere where people go for help with their mental health or schools, right? It doesn't even have to just be about mental health. It can be about, you know, like you said, staying away from drugs, stay away from alcohol. I think any a short positive. I think any 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 positive message was is always a, as it was half the battle. Absolutely. If you get people out those drugs or whatever, then I'm sure they're already going through something already. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, that's obviously it probably is in the same direction. And, it's probably the roots of, you know, thereof. Absolutely. And I think uh, a short film would be really good. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to. Um, I've been thinking about doing a short film for a long time. I have a few ideas, um, but I think that would be a really good one. Or like you said, uh, some kind of merch, maybe collabing on some merch and helping push it out there so people can, can support and have a, a, be great a lot of awareness. That's where finances could come in. Yeah, we can sell merch. And then and we need, obviously, obviously we need capital to be do to do anything, right? So um, selling mm. merch, that's, you know, I can design <clears throat> stuff or if we get, if you know of any designers that's willing to donate some of the help for the, for a better cause, or if anybody on the live knows of any, any, any person that don't mind donating their time for merch to create merch to that way you can get something, some funds in that that's another idea. So yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Uh, are there any messages that you guys want to share to everybody? Um, you know, taking a little intermission and then I'll close off with one, a few more questions after, but just to close on this topic, what message do you want to leave people who are watching this right now? So if you guys are watching this right now, the most important thing, just know that you're not alone. And the most important thing is that tomorrow needs you. That camera there, tomorrow needs you. Know that. Tomorrow needs you. There's always someone that, you just know, there's always someone that cares even though you think they don't. And, uh, because once that person's gone, it's, it's horrible. And uh, no, if you can't reach to someone, reach, reach, reach someone if you can't talk to someone if you can. Uh, do something, you know, go move, uh, go to the gym or something. But, or if you really have to, there's, like I said, this is why I push, this is what I'm doing. 988, dial 988, 988. All right, guys, it's a national hotline for mental health. What about you, Joe? Nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. Mm -hmm. Nine eight eight. Um. Honestly, ma'am. What would you close out with? Just asking, man. Right. Don't um. Don't ever. Don't ever treat yourself like a victim of anything. Because. No pity parties. No pity parties to nothing. Because God, your higher power, allow whatever you your higher power is. Obama, I don't whoever your <laughs> whatever your higher, your higher power is. We treat Team Trump over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so whoever your higher power is, man, no, they're they're not gonna put you in a situation. Where you can't overcome. I spent some years in um in a maximum pr corrections prison in Illinois, and yeah, people were doing life in there. And if I could come out of there with my head held high, there's nothing in this world, man, that could stop you. And look at me, man. Who would have thought from getting out of prison to shooting a podcast to having a following? So everything is possible, man. Podcast to go on an Ubering and, and doing a, uh, was it a karaoke, karaoke, doing, Uber, having Uber fun, karaoke. man. 
you know, so everything is possible. All you have to do is put the legwork in. And you honestly do have to put the legwork in. And want to do it, you know. And if you don't want to do it, find yourself something that you want to do. I have a blast every day at work. I know you have a blast whenever you go to work. <laughs> I'll be over there sometimes. I hope nobody from my job watching this right now. I'll see y'all tomorrow. At the end of the day, I want to do something positive with social media. And because of you guys' helping, you guys' support, um, I, which I really appreciate every single one of you guys that do, that do support it. I always follow up, man. That's a lot of love, man. I appreciate you guys. Even when I drop my keys, you guys, hey, you dropped your keys. Go back to the keys. You're, you guys are awesome. I thank you so much for the love and everything. But I want to use this platform or any platform with the social media as I grow for a better cause for good. So. All right. I mean, that was a little bit of a heavy topic. Um, if I can give some words myself, I think both of you guys summarize it pretty well. And, you know, for anybody listening, uh, find something bigger than you to believe in, man. That's why I preach about goals so much. That's why, I, you know, we don't talk about God all the time on this podcast, but you guys know, man, you know, finding God and being close to God, like Joe said, man, God will never give you something that you can't handle. And if you're put in that position, just know it's for a reason. You might not understand it. You might not like it at that time, but just know that it's for a reason. And, you know, keep your head up, reach out to people, do whatever you got to do, man. But just, you know, no more like, pity parties. No more pity parties. No Absolutely pity not. Stop being, stop being a little bitch. Agarrate los pinches huevos. Los, los, los calzones. Pick them up, ladies. Pick up those little panties and, and, and you're not, and, and you push it forward. Reach your goals. Focus on you and on your higher power. Absolutely. All right, guys. Take a, take a pause, man. I know it was a heavy topic, man. You guys got to hit pause, man. But we're going to get into a little bit of a, of a better of a better topic, man. Take five minutes. Um, obviously, you guys both create content. I create content. I want to give Joe a little bit of kudos, though, because I don't know anybody who works harder than you, bro. Like, since I met you, what you've done, being on the lives, I remember from the first day I met you, just out there straight hustling, every day hustling. All the opportunities that you've came to you, all the, you know, the stories from Joy's Burger, from losing your live to helping a bunch of food vendors. And I've never seen you take a dollar from anybody. All right. I know everything you do is from the kindness of your heart. So yeah. if anybody wants to know, guys, who inspires me to make content, man, it's that man right there, bro. I have That's a lot of respect up. for you, bro. Thank so, you, bro. Um, and Gabe, man, I hope the same, bro. Uh, I love what you do. I think it's, you know, it's a beautiful thing. So. I wish both of you guys nothing but success. Appreciate that. Um, obviously, Likewise. Vegas. Yeah, I appreciate it. Obviously, Vegas. Thanks for having me on, man. Thank absolutely. You on. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you for, for giving me your time. Obviously, Vegas, um, the city's kind of small, you know? Like, okay. between it business, really is, actually, it's yeah. super small. Like, nobody knows that, but it's super small <laughs> if you're here. Between the content creators and the business owners, right? If you know three people, you know everybody, everybody. right? Everybody knows each other. And, and one of the good things about that is we're all able to co sort of collaborate so easily, right? You're, it, people are accessible and there's not so much, you know, animosity or hatred yet. I feel like slowly it's going to start coming in. But um, shout out to the dinosaur and policy. But uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I wasn't going to say no names. And, and, uh, and, and, uh, <clears throat> We I'm not going to say no names because, I, you know, for one, social media is very powerful. So I, 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 I already know that I, I need to zip my mouth and not talk anything because let's say, let's say if I talk about Gumby, right? It's, he's a huge whatever. And I, and I say Gumby sucks, right? What's going to happen? All his, all his followers are going to start attacking this. Like, you know, it's, it's stupid. It's, it's petty. It's yeah. childish. At the end of the day. Come on, dude. You know, we're grown-ups, man. We just have to, like, nah, nah. So I'm going to just keep my mouth shut and keep focused on me, my goals, and do something good that, you know, use what I what I have for for the better good. So. Me, personally, I'm going to let my nuts hang a little bit. We team Polly C over here, baby. Don't get it <laughs> twisted, man. We team Polly. Big Polly hey, C over here, cool, man. man. Big Polly C over I'm, here. I'm, you know what? To be honest with you, and, uh, okay, I will say, I won't say that. <laughs> Look, look, I'm not going to say names, but I will tell a story. Yeah. When I reach out to a certain content creator and they, they, they blow you off because they think they're better than you, I'm not going to say names. Same one that blew me off? And, does and, does, and, his, and does then, his name start with the last letter in the alphabet? Anyways, um, so <laughs> when they do that, they think you're better. That, that's one thing. That's next. But when I met with Polly C, 
my respects to him because very welcoming. So guys, Vegas policy. This is why I went to his shop, to his taco shop. Went on there, blew live out there, and because you know what, he's really cool. And I talked to him. I said, "Hey man, are you willing to do a podcast?" Was well, yeah. He would he would have came. He would have came, but he he wanted to see his girlfriend. So hopefully he flew out today to see his girl. Did he fly today? Hmm? Did he fly out today to see his girl? I don't know. So anyways, he yeah. I've been on live. Yeah. Anyways, he said he was gonna go to New York, back to New York, because he missed his girl. But uh, anyways, if you're watching this policy, thank you so much for being cool, man. Thank you for uh being inviting and and just being down very down to earth. I appreciate that. Yeah, and instead pop of, instead of. Feeling that you're up here and looking down. That's not cool, man. And out of all the people. Yeah, not all the people. Like, Polly C is a middle-aged white dude from New York. What business does he have opening a taco shop with a dude from Tijuana <laughs> and some Mexican TikToker in Las Vegas? But Check, he's an OG, man. Hey, that's what's up. I love to see that, man. It's nothing but respect for Polly C, man. Hopefully, hopefully you guys will see him on a podcast soon. Um, right. Yeah, we definitely got to get him. Yeah. We got to get him to sing karaoke again. Dude's amazing, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, to, you know, before we got a little sidetracked, I wanted to ask how, you know, how do you guys see content in Las Vegas? And, you know, how do you project it to grow within the next year? It's tough. They're making, they're making this shit tough now, dudes. They're making this shit tough. It's, it's, it's not tough. As, I mean, as far in, as making any kind of profit out of it, they make that it's, thing tough. It's not a problem. But, I don't know. Um, Like he said, I don't, I don't take no money from nobody. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I'm trying to help. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm waiting for the day TikTok sends me a nice fat check, you know. So that money, that would be. Nice. I watch the content creator donate half his check. So really quick, what I want to share with you guys, and this is important, is what I talked about on, on you guys' live. So, um. When I don't make sure no credit card numbers on my freaking thing. <laughs> All of a sudden, you get, I think, screenshot of y'all, screenshot. Totally be screenshot of my credit card numbers. If you guys right. subscribe to our Patreon for five dollars a month, his credit card information will. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this card, guys, if you guys are watching this right now, this is the card at 7-Eleven. Uh, there's over a hundred thousand points in this thing, and it's four thousand points per pizza. So this is a loving memory of my son. Every time that he came, he came. I would give him this card. Go get yourself a pizza. I mean, get. He's no longer with me, so these points have been stacking up in there, and so I want to use this in a good for a good cause. Maybe he feed someone that's homeless, and if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments or let me know uh, by direct message. You know, I want to be able to you know probably film it as well. And love remember, not because we want to. Put ourselves out there that that I'm something or I'm doing something good because a lot of people do that shit for like for the wrong intentions and the wrong reasons. Mm. But because I want to do it because in loving memory of my son, that is the purpose. You if know, I was to record it, you know what you you said that, and I thought about you know we were talking about an event, yeah, and a pizza. You know what? Who are the most who are the most hurt people in this world right now here in Las Vegas? A lot of the homeless. So let's. Go and grab all those pictures mm -hmm. and pass them out in the homeless. Okay. We'll do yeah. That. So we talked about that. Okay. We talked about that. Um, I think at Taco so, Cervero last time. I hope you guys watch this live and we're going to name it something cool. Pizza something or uh, Code Pizza or uh, uh, Mission Pizza or something. Mi we're going to, we're going to, we're going to call it something. Pizza, par it. pizza party, not pity party. <laughs> no pity party. So let's use it for something, use something positive in, in, Bring in nine eight eight through it, uh, make yeah. some make some cards, and then hand stuff out that you know. Hey, there's hope, and so I think right now a total of twenty five pizzas, so we can do that and not maybe start passing out um, a couple of pizzas. We're just gonna have to find a no, Seven Eleven that has twenty five pizzas. Yeah, that's gonna be the issue. Yeah. We're gonna have to go like to like five Seven Elevens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll just go down one of the streets and there's tents everywhere, man. Um, one I don't know if you guys know. We're gonna record all that stuff, and then. No, so, yeah. I think the only one that knows is you, and Jay. As when I grab the food that I don't need, I give it away. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't take food to my house. Yeah. You look at my refrigerator. There's nothing but a beer, soda, and some hot sauce. <laughs> Just essentials. Just essentials. No, so chips. keep it key. Hey, y'all better pay attention. He did not say water. <laughs> I have not. Exactly. I have never in my three. Why? How long have I known you? Since, Six months. Since, five months. Nah. Since since October, September. October. November. December. January. Four months. 
day. It feels way longer than that. In the four months I've known him, I have never once seen him drink water. Sheesh. I just started drinking water with this program. I'm what? You, ever since I started changing and focusing on myself, I, on December 4th, I stopped drinking soda. <laughs> That was all I drank. How have you just started drinking water? Just started said, drinking water. That's all I drank is soda. <laughs> Modesto. Well, yes, drummer. You know it. What's up, drummer? Hey, guys, if you guys... Look, like I said, I hope you guys watch this. And like I said, in love and memory of my son, this is why I started Thought is Prime, why I started doing one of the things. It's therapy. So much behind it. So much. I want to do something good with it. I want to do something good with my channel. And let's... Why not feed the homeless? Why not? And spread let's love. Go. And spread 988, the knowledge and awareness of, you know, of... Uh, you, you know, know that they're loved that tomorrow needs you they might not even have they might need that number yeah they oh yeah for sure they, yeah, they definitely because sure. oh, they're yeah. they're they're at the lowest point in their life at that moment yeah um and man that's so i hope uh, you guys stick around oh, we'll do a live and hope you guys follow along and uh we'll just go out to seven <laughs> different seven elements if they can't do it all in one yeah uh, let's let's hit up uh, all the vendors we know and see if they might be able to donate some food that, as well send vendors that might be able to donate some food and, and yeah they, they, they can match us products. they can match us whatever they can uh, afford the, and the world of vegas wade do me a favor send baby this is baby Khaled, man send me a message God, it's prime. and um on tiktok bro i'm gonna put yo on there Tell me what event, what vendor it was, man. We're gonna go show love to them tomorrow, when they put it back up. What's going on? Uh, they're down there at Fremont taking knocking vendors down. Really? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? That's what they just said on the chat. Yeah. So yeah, we're big on street vendors, guys. All the food vendors, man. We all know we love to support. We'll pull up anywhere. So let us know, man. Whoever needs help, I've been wanting to record a video helping out street vendors or some kind of food truck. So if anybody needs help, man, if you need an extra pair of hands. I'm not going to promise you I know how to cook and stuff, but I'll go out there. I'll chop some onions. I'll do whatever, you know. Chop some onions. Um, but yeah, I think... I think it, They're chopping putting, some onions in here tonight, man. Uh, What's going on, bro? I think putting together an event where, we, where you said we feed the homeless, we might be able to hit up all the vendors we know, see if they'll pull up or if they'll donate some food. Um, we could yeah. do it right there in, in the west side where all like the, the tents are and the people are sleeping right there, outside. Right there where um, Pasadita is at. Yep. If anybody yep. knows yep. of right anybody there. of any influencers that is able to help as well to, just to promote this or whatever or just anything that can be positive in, in this. You know, why not use, you know, social media for something good, guys? If you guys know anybody that's able to collab, let us know, man. Let us know. Please hit us up. Hit either me, Thought is Prime, uh, my boy. Uh, on the Run Podcast. What, what is it on your TikTok? It's O T R B. O T R B. Reach out to O T R B. Underscore, underscore, right? Nah, just regular O T R B. Or uh, Baby Khaled uh, L V. Or seven zero two. Right? Seven zero two. Okay, Baby Khaled L V or Baby Khaled uh, seven zero two. Unless you're, you already know who you are. I know you. <laughs> you on the live. Hey, bro, well, he's stop on it. the live. Stop Shout. It. Out. Hey, listen. Stop it. Stop it. Stop We're about to hit him up for a let's, podcast let's be soon. Let's be adults. <laughs> we went all the smoke on the run podcast. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's all good. Um, Bye on Las Vegas. <laughs> Bye on Las Vegas. Uh, How time. you doing, Mr. Vegas? <laughs> we ain't gonna talk much. At you. Um, Lots of love. Anyway. Kangaroos. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure having you guys both. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for your love, man. Let's do some, let's do something positive in this in this in this country and in this in this nation and in, in this city. In the city. So let's start with the city right now, right? Then go from there. If we make it big. I'm hoping. If, no, it's going to happen. If, it, it's happening. It's already happening. Yeah. Because of you guys. And I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate all the love and and, and the support from every, every, every single one of you. I'm sure my boy here support. You know, he loves all you guys' to support. As a matter of fact, I see a lot of you guys bouncing back and forth everywhere in the same channel, which is really cool. I don't mind. I don't care. It's like, I'm not, no, my follower, just my followers. Nah. You know, I appreciate everyone. And it's funny, so. like you'll go live and be like, "Oh, Thaddeus Prime's over there, Polly C's over there, Jose's over there." Yeah, and they'll go on yours to do the same thing. Okay. So, P, yeah, it's it's awesome, man. All the little community and it's people that aren't even from Vegas, never set a foot in Vegas, never met us in person, but you know, it's it's amazing. You know what's really cool? Like the other day, uh, and uh, the other day, uh, my boy, uh, all around Vegas, he was walking doing a live. He turns around, the camera sees me, and they recognize me. That's awesome. Do my heart like, oh. That's awesome. Just like, just that love itself. That's, that's crazy. Really good. You know, it makes you feel good. You know, hey, I'm, I'm, they see me, they watch me, you know, uh, my voice means something here in Vegas, you know, and, and I appreciate that. That's really cool. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for sharing your story. I know it's not easy to talk about, no, but, but I think, but yeah, it like you said, I think it has to be. Yeah. And if anybody's listening to this guys, I hope you guys take anything, one thing, if you take at least one thing from this podcast, from this conversation, 
I think uh, I think Gabe would be very happy. So um, thank you guys for your time. If anybody doesn't know where to find you on social media, where can they find you? Uh, if they can't find me on social media, like, yeah, like as far as what, like, what are your social media what handles? Social media tags. Okay, my social media is Thought Is Prime, either on TikTok or YouTube. YouTube was my first one for nine eight eight. Um, or you can find me on Vegas Vibes again. That's Vegas Vibes again for TikTok as well, which is my second account. I finally got up to two thousand or a couple grand. Uh, I can go live on that now. And also, uh, my my Instagram is um that was my instagram shared media 702 that's shared media 702 all one word that's my professional account i do a lot of work for people biz, uh, for businesses commercials uh weddings and stuff that's my other channel for that my passion is video guys so i'm gonna use my passion for something good and powerful and reach out to people and reach out to the community and reach out to the world this is thought is prime where your thoughts matter what about you joe what's that Social media handles. Social media. Oh, baby Khaled 702 on all platforms. And on TikTok, my backup is uh, baby Khaled LV. Khaled is spelled K H A L E D. Because y'all be putting nice. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's E, guys. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. Uh, thank you for having me here. Yeah, yeah, bro. Brandon, appreciate, uh, appreciate you coming, you, bro. bro. Uh, yeah, for real. Thank you for the shit. Y'all ain't following Brandon on the run, man. Tap in, man. That man was out run. here hustling with me. He talked about me being a hustler, man, but that man spent three days with me outside creating content, editing content, going home. I was going home, sleeping. He's still up editing the content so we can post it and we can keep going. Yeah, and um, so, man, my mad respects. I love for him, man. You, you, know, you know how we locked in, bro. Hell yeah, you know how we locked in. Uh, guys, if you don't know where to find us on social media, on the run dot pod on Instagram, on the run pod on YouTube, on the run podcast Facebook, and follow my personal TikTok. It's gonna be OTRB. Uh, if you subscribe to our YouTube, not only are you going to find the full podcast there, but we also love to do side content. We've got a series where we go swap meat shopping. And this upcoming 2024, I want to do a bunch of new videos. Um, so tap in with us. Uh, if we do end up doing this video, you guys are going to see it on our YouTube channel. So make sure you connect with us. Shoot us a message. Listen to the podcast on Spotify. Make sure to rate our show five stars. It really helps out a lot. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, um, leave a like, leave a comment, and then let us know what you thought. If you want to see, if you're ready to see another podcast, man, tap in with us next week. We'll see y'all next week for another episode of the Honor Run Podcast, man. Peace. There you go. Sheesh.